Hello, everybody. It's your favorite girl, Stacey J. Johnson, and I'm so excited to be here tonight. This has to be my very, like, I, I just love New York Mac. So every week, you guys know, I do Love Rant weekly on Get Vocal, and we talk to celebrities all day, usually. Wait, is there something, do you guys hear a playback or something? Is there, is there something weird going on? Do you hear something weird? Can you hear me now, Jay? I'm sorry, this is so, can you still hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Do you hear me okay, guys? I know this is like crazy. Do you hear me okay? Or do you hear an echo? Do you hear an echo, Jay, at all? No, uh-uh, everything's good on this end. Okay, great, I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, that was so Wendy Williams. Okay, let's start over. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Meet Your Match. I am your amazing host, Stacey J. Johnson, and I am so excited. Meet Your Match is presented by my weekly show called Love Work, where every week I invite a celebrity guest to come aboard and we talk about love, their relationship, their lessons in love, and how love has influenced how they love today. Well, today is a little bit different. We're doing love work. We're doing Meet Your Match. And why is Meet Your Match important? Because Tonight, 18 will happen right before your eyes. 18, that's one in 30 individuals who have never met before are coming on my show live to meet for the very first time. Why is that so important? Well, I can tell you one of the reasons because 75% of African Americans in the US are single. I'm gonna say that again. 75% of African Americans are single. And I believe black love should be and is a part of the movement. Because black love is how we are about here, right? I mean, go figure. That's really how we all got here. We don't have to go into detail about how, but that's how we got here. And what I am committed to doing is protecting black love because that is my mission in life. And I believe that's why God put me and purposed me on this earth. So Meet Your Match is an opportunity for me to do that tonight with you. So without further ado, I want to introduce, oh, before I do that, I got to say hello to my Facebook family. Hello, Facebook. I know if you're not in Get Vocal, you're watching if in Facebook. If you're not on Facebook, you're watching on Twitter. If you're not on Twitter, you're watching on YouTube. So thank you so much. Now, you guys, I can't talk to you live, honestly, because you're not in my Get Vocal chat room. So if you were here, then I could absolutely see and engage with you. But because you're watching from Facebook and those other simulcasted places, I appreciate you. But, and I hope you enjoy what you see tonight and I hope you have just as much fun as we're going to have here. So without further ado, I want to introduce my co-host. Now, y'all, he fine. I'm just gonna put it out there. I know I should not be saying this, the man is all on the screen. He all chocolate dripped and, and dipped and honey dipped and all of that stuff. Jay Barnett is a prior, Jay, you played for the Green Bay, Green Bay right? Yes? I turned my, uh, I did they, they turned my uh, computer down a little bit, so okay. uh, there wasn't any feedback. Got it. Oh, I see. That's why I was like, wait, why yeah. am I getting that feedback? So you played for Green Bay, right? Yeah, I was a free agent there. You were a free agent for Green Bay, and now you are a family therapist and best-selling author. Yes, yes, I am a family therapist, marriage and family therapist. So, yeah, so oh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this tonight. Yes, yes, you are. I'm telling you, Meet Your Match, our last Meet Your Match, we had 80 dates in one night for six hours. What? 80 dates for six hours. We dated so long, I had to get up and go get some cereal. I was like, child, it's tequila, gone. I need to get some cereal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we dated. I'd say that I de-niced dating, okay, in love, in one night. Tonight is a little bit different. We're only going to have 30 singles. Ooh, thank God. And we're only going to be here a little bit less than two hours. So okay, still going to be engaging because people are just meeting for the first time. And right. I'm so excited. So without further ado, let me let me just tell you guys how this all works. So Meet Your Match is a speed dating, kind of speed dating mixed with a one of a kind, what I call a virtual matching machine, where I'm able to match more singles faster and help more people find love. Get Vocal and I, we joined forces with this 
um, algorithm that I came up with. And then they, what I say, they put it in the computer and it, is shoo, 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 and it creates the matching machine. And what's different than this time than last time is, y'all, that means that I didn't have to go through 900 dang on submissions. Last time I went through 900 submissions manually. This time, Get Vocal took the same 12 questions that I asked you all and then created this algorithm of what I call a matching machine. And I'm so excited and I want to formally thank Get Vocal for doing that because it so made my life way easier. Plus, in addition, because I'm extra, extra read all about it, after the computer did what it did, what I also do is then I stalk y'all from your Facebooks to your Instagrams to your Twitters to your LinkedIn's because I want to make sure I can put my whole stamp on that thing to make sure that the individuals I bring before you tonight are what I believe a perfect match. Everyone answers 12 questions. Out of those 12 questions, at least seven, no, I'm sorry, at least eight of the questions have to be matched exactly. At least, can you all imagine that? You don't have to go through that on swiping left or right. You have an algorithm that you come into an opportunity and at least eight questions, the same questions were asked and answered the exact same way. Isn't that kind of dope, Jay? Yeah, I think that's really dope. Yes, yes, yes. So hey, I'm excited to see who we got. I'm, I'm excited to see who we have in here tonight. I know, I am too. So tonight I need the first guy. Oh, wait, before I say that. So guys, so everyone is here. So we have the ladies here and we have the men. So each man will go out on a date with three women. And at the end of those dates, he will pick two women. And what will happen with that is the women in the chat line will tell me if they accept that virtual invitation to have a later date when we not there with him. Then Jay and I and everyone watching, because we're the experts, we get to make the final decision. How do you like that, Jay? I love it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to open up the chat room, you guys. I'm going to open up the um, grab your spot. And Ted, you are first. Ted, come to the room. Ted. And then Pamela, I'm going to have you come up as well. Ted. And Pamela. Okay, so Ted, I can't see you. Hey, Pamela. Hi. Hey, Ted. Hey, what's up? How are you? I'm good. Doing hi, well. Hi, Pamela. How are you? I'm great. I don't want to be first, but I'm great. <laughs> you be first and get it out of the way, Pamela. Maybe I know. <laughs> I know. Well, let me say this. When we go through this day, you guys have three to five minutes. I've already, we had our rehearsal. At the end of the, the five minutes, I'm going to... Do that. I know it sounds rude, but I got to do something like I love that. This is like my little thing of a jigga. I also have this going. And you guys just ask your questions, have some fun. And then before you leave, Pamela, I'm going to ask you a special question from my matching box. OK. 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 So Ted, meet Pamela. Pamela, meet Ted. Hi, Ted. Hey, Pamela. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. 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 How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. Yes, yes. So, uh, we're we're uh, we're live. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're live and we're ready. Where where are you located? Pamela, I'm in uh, Stone Mountain, Latonia. Oh my gosh, I'm in Smyrna. <laughs> okay. Not far, not far away. Good, good deal, good deal. So, uh, where are you from? I'm a rich. So. This will be familiar to you. I'm originally from Athens, Georgia, Bulldog country. Okay. Yeah. And I um, left Athens and went to Grambling State University. And okay. A little bit after I graduated from Grambling and then went to Notre Dame for grad school and came back to Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. How about you? Where are you from? Baby. Oh, wow. That's. That's yeah, not so born and raised here in Atlanta, and yeah, uh, been here. Awesome. I've been here all my life. Yeah, we we tend to be a little distinct, mm -hmm. like dinosaurs. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right. AT alien, but okay. Yeah, well, I had a question okay. for you. Well, tell me what makes you unique. Let's 
the Pamela. what makes me unique outside what makes the fact you that I'm Pamela Michelle. Um, let's see. So I think I have a nice blend of being sweet and sexy, um, confident but humble. Um, I lived my life um, for a long time, not really knowing who I was, but I've gotten more comfortable with that, and so. That makes me, I think, a little bit more unique. Mm -hmm. I don't, um, I'm a very loving person, uh, very respectful. Mm -hmm. Not that that's unique. I think many uh, women are that way, but I just think I have a, a special recipe and blend. That's Michelle. And my, my first, so to be clear, my first name is Pamela. That, I, I like that. My children. Yeah. What What I'm is sorry. your idea of? Now, I was about to ask you, what is your idea of a romantic so, date? Um, I don't like to be in a lot of big crowds. Um, but if if I'm with a man that makes me feel safe and secure, I'm okay with that. Okay. So if we're at a concert or we're in a, a football game, I'm a big sports fan. I'm a Falcons fan. Um, so I can really kind of go with the flow. Um, it's more about the vibe. It doesn't have to be a, um, a romantic dinner doesn't have to be, um, you know, just quiet drinks at a bar or mm -hmm. at my house. It just really depends on the guy and, and how I'm feeling. So I don't have a prescribed perfect date. It's really dependent. What about you? What's a perfect date for you? Oh, okay. Understandable. Well, for me, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of simple. I, I really love nice restaurants. Um, but a romantic, Ooh, romantic nice. date for me would be dinner sure. near water. Yeah, Very dinner, nice. candlelit nice. dinner overlooking Hard water. Hard to achieve in Atlanta being landlocked, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> but I mean, it's, it's, it's achievable. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. it's achievable here in Atlanta. Um, what are some random, like, Fun facts about um, you. I don't know Just if it's random factual, fun but facts. I can be a little goofy and silly and funny. I like I love to laugh. Um, I I'm I fiercely love my family. Um, That's good. It's just me, my mom and sister now. My father passed, but we're a very tight knit, close family. So I, I do fiercely love my family. We're very close. Um for some reason I don't like to wear shoes. <laughs> I, it, I wear shoes outside, but as soon as I get in my house, I need to take off my shoes. Um, well, that's about it. I'm a fun. I, I like to have fun. I like. To, I love to laugh. I love to laugh. Okay, that's good. Um, what are some of the things that make you laugh? A good movie, a good joke, um, a connection. If I if I'm with somebody dating, something that okay. um, he and I are the only ones that kind of know. Maybe something that's funny and we can like, look at each other and kind of give each other a look and laugh. Um, I, I love to laugh. I love movies. Um, mm -hmm. I love comedians. I just like people that make me laugh. I see that buzzer in the peripheral. Of my <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to interrupt okay. you. Oh my gosh, Pamela, I'm so sorry. And I should have said at the beginning, Pamela's three fun facts were she loves God, she's fa she loves family, friends, and football in that order. She said mm -hmm. she loves to laugh, and she said she's been told she has a beautiful smile, and you do have a beautiful smile. Oh, thank yes. you. Ted's fun facts are he's an avid traveler. He rents his log cabin she out does. for weddings, and it's literally one of a kind in East Atlanta. He loves playing tennis, golf ball, golf, I said golf ball. Golf and kickball. I should have said at the beginning. I'm and don't forget, kickball. Ted likes dinner by the water. Ted likes dinner by the water. I like, I like that. it. That's good. That's good. Well, thank you so much, Pamela. Yeah, Stick around cool. because we have two more dates and then we're going to oh. call you back. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. Ted, you stay right there. All right. Bye-bye. All right, Pamela. I like Ted, man. Yeah, 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 Ted. I like, yeah, I like you, Ted. You, you take the lead, and you asking some good questions too, Ted. Good to meet you, Jay. Man, I know that right, Ted. 
Ask hey, man, it got to be thought-provoking, you know? Yeah, he's not Make him think he a wants to bit. really, really yeah. be serious about this, and I love that. Okay, so next we have Lynn. Absolutely. Lynn. Well, actually, you know what? Let's do Lucia next. Next we have Lucia. Lucia, come and grab a spot. Lucia. <laughs> Lucia. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Lucia. Okay, Hello, so Stacey. Lucia's fun fact. So Lucia loves to laugh. She's tra she travels frequently to many Lucia. places, but she's never been to South America, um, most African nations, and most islands. Um, there are so there's so many she's been to. Uh, and she loves cheese. Okay. <laughs> I do. I'm a cheese fanatic. Okay. <laughs> Okay, great. So Ted, meet Lucia, Lucia, meet Ted. How you guys you, have five minutes. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Hi, Lucia. <laughs> hey, how are Pleasure you? Pleasure to meet you also. I'm good, good. So I hear you from Atlanta. You. Yes, born yes. Really, what high school did you go to? I am. Born and raised. Oh, I don't yes. know what that one is. I went to Harper Archer. I haven't. On the west side. You haven't heard of Harper Archer? Yeah, it's okay. over by uh, Martin Luther King. It's in the Adamsville oh, of district. Uh, what is it? Hollowell? Near uh, Hollowell? Bankhead. You ever heard of Bankhead? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went to Spelman. Donald Lee Hollowell now. Yeah, they changed it. <laughs> Me too. Okay. That's all right. Yes. That's what's up. There? Yeah, I went to Georgia Tech. Nice. Yeah. I, was, I started out in engineering. It was gonna I go went to Tech. tech. But I decided to start working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pleasure to meet you also. That's what's I'm up. Well, nice to meet you, Stadium. Lucia. Where are you from? First of all, that oh. that name. First of all, Thank that name is so that. unique. My mom, I've never heard of that one in my life. Love, but the family wouldn't let her. So she, so she had a friend named Lucia, and she really liked that name. And here I am. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. It sounds like a destination. Close. <laughs> yeah. My my grandfather used to sing. Exactly. Yeah, there you time. go. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm from Jacksonville, North Carolina. But you were Small telling me where you were from? North Carolina. Yeah. But I, I came to Atlanta for uh okay. for college. Gotcha. Nice, nice. Actually, I technically live in okay. Florida. Okay, and, and been I'm here ever Florida since? Right now. But I have a place in Atlanta. Oh, okay. A small town called Port St. Lucie. Gotcha, gotcha. What part of Florida? Have you yet? Yeah, they, um, I heard you, you like golf. I've heard the of it. PGA school is here. <laughs> so, yeah. I, yeah. What? Wow. Okay. Okay. I love all these questions. So That's I had a question it. for okay. you, yes. Lucia. Absolutely. All right. I love it. I mean, that's how you get to know people, you know? you but, um, About people? Or what are some of the things that bug you? Like pet peeves? Mm. Just Hypocrisy in general. bugs me. <laughs> and I, and I, really, I really like when the people that know yeah. me call me out on my hypocrisy. Same here. So that... That bugs me a lot. Um, what else mm -hmm. bugs me? People who are too anal. Like, I'm a go with the flow kind of person ex mm -hmm. most of the time. So if someone right. is too rigid or too uh, okay. methodical, well, methodical is fine, but just someone who can't take, you know, a, a curveball and work with it. That kind of thing. That that, you know, I can't I can't deal with that kind of stuff. I'm right. I'm, I'm I like that. I like that. You know, I'm for whatever everyone else is for. If I don't like it, if it's temporary, I'll still deal with it most of the time. <laughs> you know, I I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, so I don't I don't mind dealing with things that I don't like sometimes, just to make sure that everybody else is okay. Mm -hmm. What does that say? You know what that says to me 
It says that you don't Absolutely. mind chilling, just being chill in chill mode. That is so true. And that is so key. <laughs> that is so key. Yeah, I, I work, my my work is very uh, wow. high paced and rigorous a lot of times. So I when I'm off, I like to chill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. What is something that you would like to be uh that to I be was better a at communicator, but I think that I need to be better at communicating. Honestly, I do. I, I've always thought that I was good, but yeah, I, I think I, I'd like to work on it. <laughs> okay, so are you? Oh my god, are you a beach I or a mountain person? Beach long. or mountain person? <laughs> okay. So wait, I have a question. Beach, I have a question. Beach, this is for my beach, book of beach, questions. Okay, stuff. I have a question for you, for you, Lucia, right? Are you ready? Okay, yes. What advice would you give someone about you who's interested in dating you? Um, what advice would I give to them? Yes. I'm a relatively adventurous person, so I would advise them to... Um, think outside the box when it comes to spending time with me uh -huh. and not necessarily, even if it's we're chilling, then maybe we chill differently and watch a foreign film as opposed to a regular US, something like that. Cause I like different experiences. So all right, Lucia, open my eyes. <laughs> I love it. Okay, Ted. So now I have one for you. What's the best advice your mother taught you about relationships and dating? Oh, thank you, Ted. Oh, that's a very good question, <laughs> Stacey. Oh, thank you, Ted. Uh, thank you, thank you. Very good question. <laughs> um, you know what? My my mom, she's uh she's like the apple of my eye. I love my mom. But one of the key things uh -huh. that she taught me uh that has always stuck with me was to um just make sure that I respect women and that, and that I treat them um, like women and that I, um, that I be a man and I, I always protect them, just always be in protection mode. So, uh, you know, that started early for me because I have one sister that's underneath me and uh, she pretty much, she, she didn't tolerate fights, you know, although we were close and we used to go at it. Wow. She didn't tolerate me disrespecting my sister, so I I learned at an early age. That's so age important, that, um, Ted. I needed to treat. I'm so women happy I told you, way. Ted. Oh my God! Listen, listen. <laughs> what, what, is Ted. Ted a great guy? Yeah, yeah. Ted, I, brother, you have raised the bar. What's up? What's up, Jay? Let me tell you something. You are taking the lead. You are very assertive. What? And you are asking questions that challenge individuals to really express who they are. And they're not very vague. So I really like that about you, man. And that's what this is all about, you guys. Like, uh, that statistic, I that's didn't make that up. I appreciate that. 75% of Black people in the U.S. are single. And I am truly connected to, because I know we don't sometimes like the dating sites and things like mm. that. And you guys have trusted me to bring you together with great people. And Ted, you are amazing. Lucia, you're amazing. And Pamela, you are amazing. Mm -hmm. It's just so good. You guys come together, but Ted, you sure did raise the bar tonight for the men. Like, yeah, he yeah. raised the bar tonight. Like, I hope everybody else is over there taking notes and writing down some questions because you can't. Black, black, black. Yeah, and, and we got and listen, Ted. Here's the thing, bro. You, you have some <laughs> brothers that are watching, that are cheering you on, man. That are talking yeah. about how amazing you're doing, brother. So you're you're setting the bar high, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what's good up. stuff. Well, Lucia, did you have a final question? I'm going to move on to the last okay. lady. Um, actually, no. I'm going to move good. on to Anitra after you. I'm good. Did you have any? I'm good. Pleasure to meet you. Also, Ted. Nice meeting you, Lucia. To Lynn. Lynn, are you here? Lynn. Lynn, All right. Lynn first, Take care. and then Anitra. Thank you, Lucia. Are you guys having fun? Jay, are you having fun? Somebody said that you look like you bored. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here listening, man. I'm, I'm listening. That's all I'm doing. Oh, okay. Somebody said Jay looked like he bored. I was like, he better not be bored. He better drink some kombucha. Yeah. Shit. I'm listening. At, listen, as Ted is asking these questions, I'm taking notes myself. 
the therapist <laughs> taking notes. So I'm taking notes. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Good stuff. Lynn, hello. Hi. So Lynn, oh, I'm, man. Gonna give, I'm gonna give hey, you um, fun facts, okay? So How Lynn, she is a yaya, which she says is a glam mom. She eats chocolate every morning, period. And this is literally in her period point blank before she eats breakfast, okay? Yes, she once had a first date, take her on an explore a neighborhood date. He termed it tourists in our own city. She said she added a little twist and paid for the lunch. And he asked, he asked you to marry him after the first date? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> he said no. No. Of course, and let me reiterate Ted's fun facts. He's an avid traveler, rents his log cabin out to weddings. And it's the only one of its kind in Atlanta, East Atlanta, and he loves playing tennis, golf, and kickball. Lynn, okay. Ted, meet Lynn. Hi, Ted. I'm great. How are you? Good. Hey, Lynn. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing good. Doing well. Good to meet you. Yeah, I said you're doing pretty well. I've been watching you. You, you say you're doing pretty well? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Good looking out on that. Um, you know what, really? Lynn? You you look so familiar. Like I've seen you before. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, you I'm really originally do. from Philadelphia. Yeah, but but where are you from? Are you from here yeah. or what? Yeah, where are you from again? You okay. From here? Oh, That's what's up. Philly? Is it work related? I'm going to Philly. Philly. I'm going to Philly next week. Oh, okay. It's a good city. It's a good city. It's work related. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. But um, I guess what I wanted to ask you, pull one of my questions out. Um, hmm. Oh, wow. Family is really important. What does what does family mean kids. to you? I have three kids. Um, I have some grandkids, too. I was a teenage mom. So I grew up with my kids. You know what I mean? So we're really tight. I have uh -huh. a son and two daughters. We're always having things at my house, always having gatherings because I can cook. So they like to come over and eat my food, you know. So, yeah, family's really important to me. Very important. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's what's up. I would say are I'm you a uh, spiritual person or are you religious? Church, I believe in God. I was raised in the church. Um, but I'm more spiritual. I don't have to go to church every Sunday. But definitely believe in God. Okay. So you say you believe in God. It's what does to be having a relationship with God look any like time, for you? Any moment, no matter where I am, I pray if I need to pray. So a relationship with God is being mm -hmm. able to go to him whenever I need to. That's what's important for me. So that's what I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's what's up. I appreciate that. You um, so you're from Philly. Yeah. Hold on. Can you're I here get now this date? ATL. I know that is so ghetto. Um, I'm from Memphis, Orange Mound. But let me tell you something, Lynn. That was such a good answer. Oh, what? that was so good. I'm sorry, right, Ted. Give me a second, girl. If I was coaching you, that would that was a real because I usually tell people to stay away from the religion talk, but you absolutely answered it from a spiritual place. And that was re rather than about the religion of it. So that was really good. Okay, y'all continue. I'm so sorry. So listen, what's your favorite place on earth? Like traveling? your favorite place. Are we talking about just local? Or yes. It could be anywhere, oh, your favorite place Destin. on earth. I, I mean, it could be your bedroom. It could be. Destin. Have you been to Destin? Yeah. It's beautiful. It's close. Doesn't take long. You I have. I love Destin. Go to Destin. Do your thing. Come back. Blue water. White sand. You know, be back home. I, I love Destin. I go every year. That's what's up. You know what? Destin yeah. has the best. I agree. Beaches in the yes, United States. That white sand, that blue water. That, right that the white water. sand down there. Love it. Yeah. 
So are you the type of person that like yeah, read reviews? That's what I do. If I go to a restaurant, I want to know what everybody was talking about, make sure the food is good. Um, if I'm traveling, hotel, wherever I go, yeah, I do read reviews, definitely. Do you? Okay. Okay. I do. Yeah, I like I like uh, reviews. Exactly. Sometimes it determines, you know, whether or not I choose that location. Yeah. So, um... What's your, what's your favorite food. fast food really restaurant? Food. But if I do go and get some fast food, it'll be Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. That's okay. my favorite. I like, okay. I like home cooked meals, you know. Okay, okay. Stacy yeah. by the That's, That's what's up. Okay. Period. So you can cook. <laughs> okay. okay. Hey. So I want to awesome. ask my question. Awesome. Okay, Lynn, this is your question. How would you react if your boyfriend told you that he good. preferred you not to have any male friends at all? Um, I would need to talk to him a little bit about that because I have professional relationships with men. And so, you know, I don't even know if that energy would be um, something that I would continue because that's just some damaged kind of insecure stuff. So, but if, my reaction would be, let's talk about it. We could talk about everything. So let's just talk about it. And I would just go from there. Okay, Lynn. Oh, uh, uh, can, I, can I interject? For just you can interject, co-host. Interject, please. Uh, listen, <laughs> listen, I, I, I like y'all energy. Go for it. Go for yes. it, Dave. And, and I like how Lynn, I'm a, I'm a therapist. So I'm paying attention to the, 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 the respondent. I like how you are processing before you respond. Mm -hmm. I like that. And did you pick up on that, Ted? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks. Yeah, your your process I did, is, I did. is is is, is she, on point. But your energy did. though is 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 really exuding through the stream to where like you really you really looking to connect. So I I, I like you guys. I am. I like y'all connection. This is good. This is good. You feel good about this, Jay? I, I feel good about this, Carlos. I feel good about this, Stacey. Okay. So I Ted, good. I have a question for you. And, and let me tell you something. Yeah, Ted is smiling quite a bit in this date right here. Sure. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ted, he's such I try to smile okay, at all so, of them, you know? Yeah. So then my question for you, Ted, is do men still believe <laughs> in courting or has it become a lost art? Oh, thank you. This is from a book of questions that oh, I'm coming out with a game that I'm going to be putting um, on Amazon. I'm sorry, just a little cheap plug. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> really? You know what? Uh, I think it's a, somewhat of a lost art, actually. I really do. I think I think there there's such a surplus of, of women that are available right now that um, some make it so easy for, for us, for guys to court, you know what I mean? It's like um, the, the standard, you know, is oftentimes <laughs> down here when it should be up here. And um, so, you know, uh, for some women, Taking them to so a, then let a me regular Chick-fil-A is okay with them for a day. You know what I mean? When you're dating oh. someone or do you not court? I do believe in courting. Yeah, I, I have to court. It's 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 in my DNA. Because I, I for me, I want to see how you respond and how you react around different sets of people. And in different atmospheres, different situations. So it's important. Mm -hmm. I want to see how you even mm -hmm. react in a park or on the belt line somewhere, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, how how physical you are, how um, you know, all those things are important to me. So it, it's important to get out and not necessarily to the movies because you can't really get to know somebody in the movie theater. But there's so much to do. That um, you know, Ted, 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 what you got to so say? That's how I Listen, feel about it. I'm like Ted, man. I hate going to the movies on a date because you you can't what's have the interaction. Yes, 
No, I, I agree with Ted. It's so much to do out there, man. And listen, who, whoever you choose, Ted, they're going to be a lucky woman, man. Because I, I love your perspective just on dating and courtship and then just the transparency part. Man, I really like how you are uh, assertive, even in your question asking. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then, too, you ask very broad, I mean, um, questions. You know, yeah. you ask questions about church, religion, home, you know, just a lot of different stuff, man. So, yeah, this is this is good. I am really proud of my male choices. I'm <laughs> proud of my female choices, but I'm great yeah. job, Stacey. Because I'm yeah. very, because I'm a female. So I'm very picky. There are men that would I would yeah, good job. who have submitted, and I no 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 no. I'm very picky with my men. And Lynn, you did an amazing job, but Ted, I am just so Thank impressed you. by your level of questioning and things like this, and how you are really. And that's what it's all about, you guys. Like, first of all, we are in a world that says that it's not good to go outside without a mask on. And as single people, we have to start right. to think outside of the box on how we're going to connect. And I can tell you the matchmaking service is usually five to ten thousand dollars. And y'all are getting it for free just to come on and connect with great people. So for me, it's my, you know, I always say God purposed me for this. And Jay having you here is just amazing just because you're able to add in that that other bit of that therapist level of just really listening and things like that. So I really appreciate it. Lynn, you did an amazing job. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank, Thank you so much. Okay, Ted, we have one more date. Nice to meet you. Yes. Okay. Bye. Nice meeting you, man. Okay, so Anitra. Anitra, you're Take up care. next. Anitra. Anitra. Yay. Anitra. That was so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Anitra. How are you, honey? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So three fun facts about Anitra. Mm -hmm. She said, I love muscle and classic cars, especially the Ford Mustang. I love that. Scottsdale, Arizona is one of her favorite vacation spots. She rediscovered her love for fashion and online shopping during quarantine. Girl, you too? Yes. Oh I have so much stuff to return. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so Anitra meet Ted. Ted meet Anitra. Hi, Ted. Hello. Hi. Hello, Anitra. Hey. Nice to meet you too. Um, my day has been good. It was yeah, busy. How you, how, how's your day been? A little tough. Got some bad news early, so I'm trying to stay away from that, but stay positive because I'm excited about okay. the opportunity to, you know, meet you. So, but I'm oh, pretty good. Let me just tell people, Anitra texted me earlier, and I have to say thank mm -hmm. you for still showing up. Anitra had a sore of her pass away, and she said, Stacy, I am still going to show up tonight because, first of all, I committed myself to you. We did the run through, and she said, I'm going to show up. And girl, you look cute, too. You did that. You put that thing together, Anitra. Okay. Oh, on a few hours of sleep, because of course I couldn't sleep last night. And so, yeah, but it's, it's been a little rough, but hanging in there. So, yeah, she was a line sister, actually. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Well, my condolences. Yes, and how's to your you, day Anitra. been? Good. Yeah. It's been a good day. Yeah, very No, very I'm from Charlotte area. Um, so Monroe, North so where Carolina, are you from? right outside you of from Charlotte. Here? But I currently live in the suburbs of Philadelphia. I've been here for almost 15 years. Okay. So yeah. But looking to move back south. Okay. <laughs> so, I Stacey, told you I'm not doing this, I'm true. You were a wise, Stacey <laughs> <Gale>. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh man. Um, do you, you know, this question right here is, uh, do, do you have, um, do, do you have a dream that has been like bugging you for some time that you really wow. want to uh, accomplish? <laughs> 
Tá em live. Go ahead on now. <laughs> I didn't mean to come out so heavy in um, the I don't know if I would actually call it a dream, but more so a desire. Yeah. And to some people, it may be trivial or simple. But for me, actually, honestly, I would really like to get back home closer to my family. Um, and there's been different things along the way that's kind of stopped me so far from a comment that but as time goes on you know parents are aging getting older yeah i just you know i realize the value in life and then of course with you know things that have recently happened and especially this year um definitely that's like a priority for me to get back home so again i don't know if i really call it a dream or something because it's definitely going to happen i'm going to make it happen but um yeah it's just been kind of deferred mm -hmm. and not accomplished yet so yeah yeah i understand oh my mom yeah, so, so who who is it that my inspire mom. you she, yes um actually she kind of, well oh yeah she's like everything to me my best friend Why is that um she actually kind of helped me prepare for tonight because again i was on the fence mm -hmm. with everything you know so she's definitely my rock my go-to wow yeah you know yeah mm -hmm. you know what this is, i really commend you i commend you really for uh even being here because you could have right. easily said hey you know i'm i'm just gonna have to do it mm -hmm. the next time um you know not knowing who you were gonna meet well, uh, thank and you. having these conversations, but so, I, I you know, I, I commend your strength and looking for forward sure. to it. And um, I know my Sora tell me something because she was happily married for over 20 years. And the last time we were out together, that was a topic. It always comes up the whole dating thing. And I'm yeah. like, it's tough out here. <laughs> and so she was, you know, always supportive and saying, yes, yeah, she knew, you know, that it would happen. Yeah. So I'm kind of yeah. doing this also for her because I know she would want me also do it continue so yeah 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 gotcha okay. so what do you what does your saturdays mm. usually I, look like like your weekends uh, what do they look like i do sometimes i get stuck working on the do weekend. you work on but the that's because i'm a tax analyst so just coming out of tax season been really 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 busy so honestly my past few months have been my Saturdays have been working, unfortunately. And whenever I got a break, it was me time. So honestly, sofa, binge watching mm. TV, relax, chilling. I'm real low key, kind of laid back. So um, you know, pretty simple, easy to please, easy to get along with. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. So, do you like? To be honest, neither. I'm Pepsi not much of a cola person. Or Coke. But if I have to choose, I'm going with Coke. But can I get cherry Coke at least? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you. Okay. Um. So, do you have a question for me? Actually, do you have a question for me. When you were asking earlier about um, yeah. beach or mountain, what was your preference? Since you. Mountain home. Really? Yeah. Oh, my favorite That's is beach. Very interesting, especially since me you beach. own it's, it's always water. I love beach. Okay. Yes, okay. that's lakefront. So if you ever want to run it out, if you ever want to come to Atlanta, <laughs> um, just, oh, sorry, just I'm sorry. check out BennettCove.com. So well, but I have to get my questions in. Oh, so okay. Okay. love I'm going to ask you first, Ted, what does love mean to you? Thanks, Ted. I asked so many good questions. I can't wait to sell my little thing. Wow, that's a good today. question. Oh, love oh, means. It's um, going to be so good for daters. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. It's going gonna, it's gonna to sell. It's going to sell good, too. 
But for me, uh, Stacy, love means sacrifice. It means uh, giving of yourself. It means um, hmm. it means accountability. I love it. I love it. Um, Anitra, I have one more hmm. for you. Would okay. you give your ex boyfriend? I think family those three things. Best friend? Yeah, yeah. I, Excuse me, can you ask the question again? <laughs> Would you date your ex boyfriend's family member or best friend? What? I'm just saying, Anitra, that's what the question says. It says it right here. That's what the question says. Answer it. What I... Your ex boyfriend's family member or best friend? Really, I mean neither. If I ha but if I have to pick, I mean no, I don't. I'm, yeah, yes or no? Would you date oh, either of them? Oh, oh, would I date either of them? Yes. No. 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 Okay. Oh, I thought you were saying giving me a choice, like which one no, would no, I? No, 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 oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no I would not. That's easy. Okay, no. Absolutely. absolutely. Thank you, Denitra. Thank you so much, and many blessings to you, sis. For real. It gave you a lot of courage to come here tonight. What do you think, Jay? What are you thinking in your mind? Well, for one, I want to uh, commend your nature and also send my condolences. Uh, and uh, you, you displayed tremendous strength um, pushing through. Uh, it's not easy to be emotionally resilient when you have something that's kind of tugging at your heart. And so uh, thank you for, for that. And uh, I think you are a, a beautiful a woman and just listening to you push through and just and Ted Ted is asking some questions that kind of tugs on the heart a little bit. Yeah. And I'm I'm watching your body language as it's kind of like, oh wow, this is a little <laughs> little deep. But you push through. So uh again, yeah, as Stacy said, many blessings to you and my prayers are, are with you and, and the family as well. But I mean just I'm all around amazing. And that says a lot about you. I'm gonna tell you what I like. You kept your word. Yeah, that and that's the thing I look for. And, and, and to a man like Ted, that's that I'm, I know that speaks volumes. Yes, yes. I like that too. Yes. I, love it. I love it. Well, thank you, Anitra. Well, thank you. Thank you so Bye. much. Thank you so much. Bye -bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay, Ted, you got to Ted. Ted, you made you. You got to pick two women. So this how this goes. Yes, Stacey. You got to pick two women, well, Ted. Then in the thread, the women are going to agree or not agree if they want to have a virtual date. So the virtual date is, you know what that is. Everyone has seen it. You order some food. You order some food for yourself. You order some food from her. And you guys get on Zoom. We're not there. And you kind of start to get to know each other. And hopefully what I'm thinking is you come back or one of you comes back and lets me know how that date was. So who do you choose? Now, let me say this, out of your two, hmm. they have to agree in the thread that they too want to have a virtual date with you. And then guess who gets to make the final decision? Me, Jay, and everybody watching. Yes, it's my favorite part. I have to I have to say so in something. You. So who are you gonna choose, Ted? Lynn, Lucia, or Anitra? I like I I, 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 I I like Lynn. Um, so hold on, wait, the, hold on, not us yet. So it's oh, actually I, it's Pamela. I, I'm sorry, Lucia, Anitra, and Lynn. <laughs> Pamela was first, Lucia was second, Lynn was third, and Anitra was fourth. You pick two people, and then Jay, we pick from. We allow the women to choose, say if they want to go on the date, and then we choose from the two. Okay. He's so cute. Can they hear me? Can yes, they hear me yes, picking? They can, okay. they can. They can hear me. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Um, my choices are gonna Lynn. be okay. So Lucia, Lucia and Lynn, I need you Lynn. to tell me if you will go on a virtual date in the thread over here. Um. Lucia. I got the calls. I'll check it out, see what they say. Lynn yeah. says she will. Lucia says Lucia yes, says and Lynn will. says yes. Okay, so now Jay, it's on us. They both said yes. Lucia. Oh my God. 
So I'm going to turn this up so that we don't take the rest of the show because we have two, we have lots of other people. So here we go. We have to decide within this. So look at what the, okay, what is everybody saying in the chat? So we have Lynn, 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 Shep, then Lucia. Oh God, can you count them, Jake? Wait, Lynn, Lynn, Lynn. Lynn, Lynn, the, the, the majority is Lynn. Lynn, then Lucia. Yeah. Lucia. Lucia, Christopher says Lucia, Jess says Lucia, Leon says Lucia, Jess says Lucia. Ooh, that's a tie. I don't know how to do the tie though. Oh, Lynn, we got two, two more Lynn's. Two more Lynn's, one more. One, one Lucia. No, Ted, we get to choose. Where you go, Ted, come back. Wait, okay. Hold on, Ted, don't ask all them questions and run off now. Hold on, man. <laughs> okay, so wait, Lucia, so it looks like it looks Lynn. like a tie, man. Oh. oh, we just got another Lynn. Somebody said Ted then left the building. Ted, come back. Hold on, Houston. We have a problem. <laughs> wait, hold on. So wait, hold on. Ted had to go to the restroom. I can't stand you, Kim. You're crazy. I think Lynn is the top. Okay, yeah. so Frank said he counted. So 14 Lynn and 10 Lucias. So 14 Lynn and 10 Lucias. Dang, that was close. All right, so it's Lynn. It's Lynn. Oh, she said yay. So Lynn, come back to the room. Hold Where on, I might go get Ted out the bathroom. Yeah, hold on, we, Lynn, we gotta go get Ted. Where did Ted go? I might go. Did Ted lose his internet connection? If he has T-Mobile or Sprint, he might. Come on, Ted, you asked all them good questions and now you got your Wi-Fi loading. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Where is he? Uh, what happened to Ted? Did he look what? Okay, so wait. Okay, oh wait, hold on. Okay, come back in, Ted. <laughs> Ted, are you there? Okay, so there's Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Hey, oh, she hey, got. Hey. Door. We're looking for Ted. Hold on, I think something happened. No, I think something happened with his internet because I think we got a runaway groom. The way because I don't even see him over here. I think. Hold on. Oh Lord. This one oh gonna... my gosh. Ted. Where he go? He's scared. He's gone. No, he's not scared. I think literally, <laughs> let me tell you, I've had the worst situations with my hold on. Ted, where are you? Oh my God, Ted, this was going so, where did he go? Where did he go, Ted, Ted, Ted? Oh, they, they said Ted White walked in. Yo, shut up, you're crazy. <laughs> Ted ain't got no wife. Lynn, I'm, Lynn, I'm messing with you. Lynn, I'm messing with you. That is, so Ted really, hold on, I think his phone is, is it 510? No, it's 813. I'm trying to find his number in my phone. It's gone. Uh, man, come on, Ted, because I was rooting for you, man. Where did he go? No, I, I think something happened to his internet. Oh, okay. I really do. Hold on, let me. I think you don't have a cricket, do we? <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> I can't stand you. Hold on. Let me go. Oh, my gosh. One second, guys. Oh, good. 688. Hold on one second. Oh, my goodness. Now I really feel like um, Wendy Williams. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, Jay, hold this down for a second. Yes. Yes. So did you, uh, uh, did you enjoy this? Uh, yes, I was here for the first one. I was all in the comments when she had the first one. So this is fun. I'm okay, excited. okay, okay, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so uh, yeah, Frank, shut up, Frank, to my go bear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I hope Ted, I hope Ted didn't have Teddy Riley's connection. Oh Lord, yeah, <laughs> Ted just ran away. Yeah. He'll be back. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, how about them cowboys? 
Man, listen, y'all just y'all listen, y'all just made my night because I had a long day. I get to laugh and sip on some kombucha. Ooh, and yeah. um uh, I'm I'm you guys have made my night. Okay. Now, now what are you sipping? Just Marlo. Just a oh, Marlo. Marlo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's great because Ted left me. He just ran away before we could get started. So and I know, right? Because y'all y'all were supposed to be at the beach next week. I know, I'm ready. Yeah, y'all are supposed to be at the beach next week. I am ready. All right. Okay, there goes Ted. There he is. Yeah, his, he's, I told him to just get on his phone. His computer went out. He was on the computer first. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Come on, Ted. Don't let me down, man. We rules for you. <laughs> this is his first time. So you know we do a rehearsal for this. So this is his Don't first time doing it on his phone. Yeah. Use the computer the first time. Come on, yeah. Ted. 2020 has not been good for us, though. We was hoping Ted could change that. Ted did actually. Yes. He did. Yes. He did. Okay. Okay. Well, that phone yeah. might not be working. Okay. So, Lynn, what I will make sure I do is I will make sure I connect you and Ted and Ted to you. Okay. 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 All right. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye bye. All right. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and step Ted down. Okay, great. So next, that was really cool, right? Yeah, that was good. That was, good. I, it was, that was really good. And Ted set the bar high. Man, listen, I, I tell you what, whoever the next guy is, he better be on his stuff. Okay, so the next guy is Christopher. Christopher, are you here? Christopher. Christopher. Okay, Ted, Ted, Ted is in the comments. He said his Wi-Fi is tripping. Oh, his Wi-Fi is tripping. Okay, so Ted, I will make sure that I connect you all together. All right, so Christopher, you're next. Christopher? Christopher? Either Christopher or Chaos. Oh, there he is, Christopher. Hello, Christopher? Hey there, what's going on, fam? Good evening. How are you? I'm excellent. Doing really good. Glad to be here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Jay, Christopher, Christopher. Chris, Jay. how you doing? I thought that was, I thought that was Marvin Sapp, man. <laughs> wrong, wrong one. Wrong one. Close enough. Real close. Real close. <laughs> I said, I said, hold on, Pastor. <laughs> right. No, I like that jacket, brother. I like that jacket. Appreciate it, man. Thank yeah, you. Uh, trying to spice uh, it up a little I bit. I like that style, color man. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, um, Christopher, thank you for coming. I'm so excited. So, what's wonderful about Christopher is I was so successful. Can I tell how the story how we met? I was so successful with matching um, a, 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 the, one of a, a, our a, one of my dearest former matches, which is Saunders. Saunders is related to Christopher. And I did so good with Saunders, the first Meet Your Match with Chanel, that Christopher, I think Saunders said, man, Stacy has a gift. I think you should go and try this. And that's how I met Christopher. Isn't that amazing, Jay? Wow, that, that's amazing. Right. Man, listen I, listen, I might need to be next on here. <laughs> Chris was like, "Woo, man, that's a that's a big referral, Stacy." Yeah, Sa Saunders was so happy, and Saunders was like, "Yo, I'm serious. She has a gift. You need to go and just open, just be open, and just allow it to happen." So, without further ado, I want to call Augustina. Augustina, you're first. Augustina Mensa Kawai. I, I probably messed all that name up. Augustina, hi. Hi, beautiful. Hi, Christopher. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Jay. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, how you doing? I'm, I'm doing well. I'm going to give your fun facts first, Chris Augustina, okay? You can call me Tina. Okay, Tina. Okay, so Tina, three fun facts. She was born in Ghana, West Africa. She's been to over 20 countries, and she's met three living presidents, all right? Christopher's fun facts are, I'm over six feet tall, but I don't play sports. You're like six seven, aren't you? Six five? Five. Six yeah. five. He said six five. Okay. I was off. 
I'm an introvert turned ambivert. I prefer a picnic date over a restaurant date. So Augustine, Tina, meet Christopher. Christopher, meet Augustina. I mean, Tina, I'm just so good. I just need to pat myself on the back. Okay, y'all go ahead and date. Y'all got five minutes. Get this thing going. Well, awesome. first off, hey. you have some great teeth. Did you wear braces? Thank or? you. I did uh, in my teenage years, so almost a decade and a half ago. And uh, yeah, I'm doing my best to maintain it. <laughs> well, it looks good. You, you can keep that Thank smile. I just it. like it. Thank you. Appreciate it. I, I feel out, you know, smiles are pretty contagious. So they are. I like to, you know, utilize that every now and then. Are those prescription glasses? No. Fashion. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. 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 So I usually wear glasses. Um, so cool. they're actually real. Nice. Nice. Okay. So do you vacillate between uh, glasses and contacts? So I don't wear contacts because I feel like I'm going to poke my eyes out. So I have like maybe... 10 different pairs of glasses. If you didn't know, glasses are all manufactured by the same company. So if you just get like the cheap knockoff glasses and just get your prescription, you can, but you don't need that. But just a tip for everybody who's watching. Right, right. Yeah, I actually buy a lot of my pairs off of Amazon. Oh, nice. I think everybody's been on Amazon a couple of times in the last few months anyway. So Absolutely. yeah, um, and a jacket from Amazon, shirt from Amazon, so. Shout out to Amazon. I, I need to I, get paid for that. I bought from yeah. Amazon as well. Support Amazon. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know, right? Nice, nice. So, questions for me? Uh, I'll let you ask me some questions first. I have a couple. Awesome, awesome. So, I see you have your hair out. Let's talk about you know hair and, and um, I guess personal grooming. Do you do? Are you all natural? Do you do weaves, wigs, that kind of thing? Yes. Yeah, so, I actually did the big chop maybe about five years ago. And so I've been natural nice. since then. Um, I get extensions like braids, Senegalese twists. I love those. Sometimes I get faux locks. Um, but yeah, I usually have my hair out natural. You look natural too. I actually just cut my hair. Uh, I grew my, started growing my hair. I'm a single dad, uh, but I started growing my hair when my son was born in 2012. And I kept it for about maybe four or five years until I developed a scalp irritation that I just couldn't fix. So I wound up just cutting it off until I went back to my low cut. But yeah, I'm actually enjoying it. And uh, my, my ideal look would be locks, though. I really do want to lock my hair. I just, I'm not brave enough to go through that whole ugly process. <laughs> it's frustrating. You can't be ugly. No one in this world is ugly. I, you, I mean, you know what I mean. You know, the whole initial phase of having to go through the little baby fro and that kind of stuff. Like, <laughs> it's I really I feel tough. It. Let me first say. And so, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. let's take turns. I'll go next. So. Go ahead. What motivates you and what makes you happy? Ooh. Inspiring others. Um, again, I'm a single parent, and so uh, I'm 33. I'm, I should have said that, 33, 6'5". Uh, I currently reside in Atlanta. Uh, I was born in Hartford, Connecticut, but I was raised in Philadelphia North most North? of my life, and I've been an Atlantean. Yes, yes, Northeast, Woo New easy. England. So, uh, <laughs> nice, nice. What part of Jersey? Uh, Bergen County, North Jersey, right over the bridge. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, not fire at all. That's nice. So yeah, so uh, I love inspiring people. Um, my What lights my fire every day is my son, who for the summer is actually spending time with my grand, with his grandparents, my parents, while I hustle and bustle down here in Atlanta to get my house, because I literally just moved into the house about three months ago. Um, I love I love being a part of, you know, community organizations and community initiatives. I consider myself a community servant. Uh, I'm also a creative, and so I like finding new ways to reinvent myself and help other people reinvent themselves, discover their purpose, you know, um, you know, achieve their, you know, divine destiny, if you were. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's awesome. I'm also creative. So I um, actually produce and write my own music on the side. But my normal day job, I work at the CDC. So I'm currently working on this COVID response. So it's been a very long day. Most of my days are usually 12 hours long. But, you know, we're trying to keep America safe. Stay at home. You need a foot massage. That's what you, you know need. What? You need a good foot are massage. you good at that? You know, let me tell you, I have one got in my feet done in who knows how long. Let me, no, actually, I'm I ain't worried about that. So long as they wash them oil, that's fine. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless too. <laughs> I mean, that's what a grown man should say. So <laughs> I'm getting a little hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really, I absolutely love a good foot rub. So okay, okay. And I actually live in Atlanta as well. So awesome, awesome. That's good. Restrictions that's are lifting. 
Yes, they okay, are. So y'all yes, have one more to so, say. I just uh, don't want to be rude because it's going so good. Okay. Okay. Let's talk family and business. How do you feel about family? How do you feel about business? Yes. Yeah, so I have three older three older sisters. I'm the last born. Um, I love my family. I'm actually up in Jersey right now visiting them. I'll be back in Atlanta this weekend. And um, business wise, me and my sister were actually um, trying to start a business um, selling products from Ghana. And so we go to Ghana every year um, and you would have to come. Like, have you ever traveled out the country? My passport is ready. Yes, because I have plenty of stamps. I can get you stamped up. Awesome. Um, <laughs> but absolutely, like, um, so that's something we're working on, hopefully, uh, in the next year. What about you? Do you have a business? How do you feel about your family? I know you have your son and you love him. Yes, yes. So I'm a single, hopeless, romantic single dad of a beautiful yellow seven-year-old. Uh, I am working on building and re-emerging my clothing company. Um, I'm working on building a restaurant. I'm working on building a community development corporation. So, and among other things, yeah. Okay, so now I got to get my questions in. Yay! Okay, so, Christopher, what did you learn from your yes. previous relationship? Communication is not key, comprehension is. What? Jay, did you hear that? You better get your banana. <laughs> you better read your banana. He said communication is not key, comprehension is. Baby, you know Jay. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> did you get that, Tina? That's absolutely wonderful. because Girl, I'm these men tonight are bringing it. See, that's what I do for y'all. You see that? Okay. Listen. Tina, you're your question is, what is one of your dating deal breakers? And explain. Yes. So I know you said not to talk about religion, but my deal breaker is actually I need someone who has two people in yoga with me and shares my faith. And so I'm a Christian and um, my father's actually a pastor. And so my relationship with Christ is very important. And so that is a that is a deal breaker. I think Christopher is going to be quite, quite all right with that. Christopher, I know. Praise, praise the Lord. Hey, listen, Hallelujah. Listen. All right. Raise him up. Hallelujah. I'll say whatever y'all want, but Marvin Sapp brought his A game. <laughs> Thank day. you, Tina. Thank you. Stick around. You did an amazing job, okay? Stick around. Don't leave, okay? You. All right, Christopher, you stay right there. All right. Uh, let's see. Next up is Jaslyn. Jaslyn, or is it Jasmine? I think I said right. Jasmine. Okay. Hello. Hello, Jasmine. How Hi. are you? Hello. Am I pronouncing it wrong? Jasmine or Jasmine? Jasmine, the second one. Jasmine. Okay, so Jasmine, thank you. Jasmine, meet Christopher. Christopher, meet Jasmine. I can't see Christopher for some reason. I don't know why, but I saw him when he first came on. You did? I did, but I can't see him now. You can't see him. So you know what? Refresh your, just refresh your screen. Okay. And then I don't know if they'll kick me out, but I'll come right back. No, no, no. It won't kick you out. It'll just refresh. Okay. I promise. Where is she? Don't you guys love live stuff? Now, don't you empathize with Wendy when she's having a moment and things start to happen? Like, literally from doing this show, I realized that, like, you can't stop the camera. It needs to, everything just has to continue. Yeah. Okay, here we go. You just have the baby, just move with it. Yeah, so Jaslyn, are you better? You good? Yes, I am. I okay, am. So let me All right, go get ahead. your hair. Ooh, you got that hair laid, too. <laughs> Look at that hair. So I'm going to go ahead and give Jaslyn's three fun facts. So she says, I keep my ice skates in the trunk of my car. Ice skating is one of her first loves. She's an avid reader, and she wants to have a library book. Oh, a library in her home, a library room in her home. Um, and she's a city girl. But the first thing I learned how to do was drive a tractor, she says. Okay. So Christopher is, of course, I said it earlier, he's over six feet tall, but he doesn't play sports. He's an introvert turned ambivert, and he prefers picnic dates over restaurant dates. 
Evelyn, meet Christopher. Christopher, meet Jack. Hi. Good evening to you. I'm wonderful. Thank you. How are you? Very good. Very, very good. So where are you from? I am born and raised in Los Angeles, California. Never lived anywhere else. Wow. So how did you get experience with tractors? That's really curious. Well, my grandparents um, own acreages of land out here in California, in Paris, California. And so it's a farm. And so the first thing I learned how to drive was a tractor. And my grandfather used to sit me on his lap and we would drive the tractor. And then we had like um, uh, grass. And so we had like the mower that you sit on. So by the time I was like five or six, I was able to do that by myself. So that's, that's. So did you transition from the tractor to like a four wheel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my girl, yeah that. so my summers uh my summers were spent out there christmas vacations i was with my grandparents a lot uh when my parents were at work yeah. so they were my caretakers when my mom and dad weren't available nice, mm -hmm. nice. so you live in california uh hmm. how's that how, you know tell me about california because i've actually i had not been to really california. well you missed them out uh born and raised in california the weather's good out here we we did have a, a chilly summer, but I mean a chilly winter, but California is good. It's very condensed. Um, I think you said you're in Atlanta, right? So that's my second favorite place. If I had to move anywhere, it would be to Atlanta or Texas. But Atlanta is so spread out and I love the quietness of that here in California. Like my neighbors, if I open my window, I can hear them. So we're really close. <laughs> Everything is so close here in California, right. um, and it's fast paced. Yeah. 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 Nice. Uh, so I do you. have a question. So, what would you say a perfect day is for you? Perfect mm -hmm. day. Oh. Well, first of all, I need to go to bed on time. <laughs> that's that's first. I, I need to go to okay, bed. Okay. What time like is that? Over two o'clock ish. I, I would say the best, op, the most optimal time for me, 10 o'clock. Okay. Yeah, I would say 10 o'clock. At the very latest, 11. Okay. Um, more so because, I, again, so the perfect day. If I go to bed on time the night before, I'd be able to get up in the morning, pray, brush my teeth, shower, work out, uh, read, you know, read the newspaper or catch CNN, something of that sort, catch up on the, you know, the political and whatever else, even watch some international news. And then maybe take a drive to catch, uh, do some payroll at one of my businesses or um, maybe have a meeting with a city councilman to see what I can do to improve the quality of life for the people that live in my county. Um, maybe play some golf uh, or do some baking or, um, you know, go volunteer at a homeless shelter or something, you know. And, and then definitely, of course, you know, plan a date uh, with someone very special and have a, you know, close like, evening out with them. You said baking. Now, what are you going to bake? Ooh, I'm a cookie guy. Okay. I like cookies. What kind? White chocolate macadamia. Okay. I'm a cookie girl. I do chocolate chip and walnut. Actually, okay. while the other days were going on, I was in the kitchen making banana pudding. Banana pudding so. <laughs> I'm a it's good a dessert good girl. I love a my good other, dessert. <laughs> my other al my other alternative is oatmeal. Okay. Cream. Okay. I like um Subway has this uh raspberry chocolate chip. Yes, God. It does my soul well. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like it. Nothing like it in all the earth. Nothing. Yeah, so how, how is Atlanta cool. treating you? Very well. I I feel like I made only a couple really, really great decisions. Like I've made some good decisions in my life, but a couple that I made that were really, really great. Number one was becoming a confessing Christian. Number two, having my son and number three moving okay. to Atlanta like this is like the top there uh yeah my top three so I, I really love it here like you said it's, it's very spacious it's very quiet uh, I live in DeKalb County so right outside mm -hmm. of the Atlanta line like five minutes um and it's it's really been a phenomenal experience so I'm looking forward to doing a whole lot more and making this my home base from wherever else I discover the world awesome awesome so with your yeah. son how does that work with you dating and being a single father and how do you integrate him into your dating life? My, 
well, naturally, as is with most single women, um, he and I are yeah. not chill. So <laughs> you, the likelihood of meeting him uh, in the first 30 days is very high uh, because he is uh, very intuitive, very intelligent, very articulate, um, but also very friendly, very personable. Yeah. And he's much more extroverted than I am, to be honest. I think because he doesn't have the life, he has, life hasn't happened to him yet. So he doesn't have, you know, reservations and things like that in the back of his head that cause him to, you know, judge situations. He just goes for, goes for the gusto. Uh, but I love it. My son is very much involved in every relationship that I have, family, friends, and of course, even my dating experiences. And so, uh, yeah, so I, I, and I actually enjoy being, you know, I enjoy being his father. I enjoy having one child right now. <laughs> I don't know what I would do with a daughter, but naturally, I probably just do what I'm doing with my son and just raise him the way I know how. I probably have a whole lot more hair to comb <laughs> uh, and, and more pink to soak through. But, you know, other than that, sparkles and glitter. Enjoy it, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah. If, 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 I, I'm thinking about one or okay. two more kids, so one or two. I'm trying to find the right, trying to find the right. I have a candidate. six. Well, my son will be 16 next month, so nice. yeah, he recently nice. just moved uh, with his dad. So I am not by choice an empty nester, but yeah, boys are good. Boys are fun. Well deserved. I'm yeah, sure. you know, I, he made the decision <laughs> that he wanted to go, and so naturally, I said I didn't want to keep him from that. I thought it was important for him as he's growing older to learn how to make decisions for himself. And so I always want to support him in the decisions, either right or wrong, and help him guide him moving forward in life. Because in two years, he doesn't have to have to ask me anything. He'll be making his own decisions. So I think as a parent, that's one of the most important things for me. <laughs> it has been, is, is allowing him to, uh, as a man, learn how to make decisions for himself. So. Ooh, that's yeah. Awesome. So I didn't get your age and I didn't get your like your employment career goals. So I'm uh, 35 years old. I currently work as a director of development for diversity initiatives at a local private college here. So I raise money for scholarships and other diversity initiatives. Um, fundraising is typically not something that you see a lot of people of color in. So when I walk in our meetings, a lot of times I stand out, but I shine all the time. Um, <laughs> uh, that just means you're smart, 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 smart. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> I also recently just authored a book called The Prayer Playbook and am starting my, well, revamping uh, a business that I previously had. It was called Brown Sugar Enterprises. Now it's just BSG Enterprises because brown sugar skills scare some people away. So um, the BSG stands for Brown Sugar Global. And through there, I've been doing prayer coaching, one-on-one -on -one prayer coaching. I see you, Stacey. I'm going to wrap it up, girl. I'm going to wrap it up. <laughs> I've been doing one-on-one um, -on -one prayer coaching and then just launched the website to sell the book. Hopefully, with COVID, I can get the actual physical copy soon. But that's me. I would ask you when she's going to cut us off. <laughs> okay, so hold on. I have a couple of my questions. Okay. If all of your exes, Jaslyn, actually Christopher, if all of your exes sat at a table and talked about you, what is something they would say and agree on about you? That I'm a gentleman. Period. <laughs> so because I'm a wordsmith no and I believe that words are different, meanings of words because of where we are, who we've been raised by, what is being a gentleman? Can you explain what that means to you? Uh, sensual, courteous, considerate, intuitive, um, and um, what's the word I want to use? I, I, I was going to say observational, but that's not observant. Okay. Observant. All right. So, Jaslyn, I have one for you. Okay. When you're dating someone, do you expect to hear from them? And this is at the beginning of dating. You're not in an exclusive relationship, but when you're just dating them, do you expect to hear from them every day? Yes, and I will tell you why, because yep. you're a woman of words and I am too. Yep. I think we spend time on things that we care about. And so if you're interested in me and you want to be with me, then that means you want to spend time with me. Uh, quality time is my love language. And so I think if you're on your phone all the time, that means you love your phone. If you're working all the time, that means you love your job. Um, but we spend time on the things that we want to get to know more about. And if we don't talk every day, then that means something else in that day was more important to you, so. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Jaslyn. You were amazing. Thank for you. Oh my God. Thank you. Anywhere, though. 
Okay, I'm not. It was nice meeting you, Christopher. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you, Jay. You're welcome. Yes, thank you, Jazz. Awesome job. You as well. Thank you. Uh, Man, Jazz, listen. Woo. Yeah. Oh, listen. <laughs> you trying to take your life to another level? Sure. Woo. Can I tell you something? Jazz write books. Did I, did I do this? Did I do Jazz this? write books. She's director. Damn, y'all don't even you think know. You got her son out the house. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Like y'all, so y'all, I know. But did I do this, Christopher? Did I do this? Yeah, Sandra said the right thing, thing, right? (laughs) Okay, so next is Kanisha. Kanisha, can you come into the room, Kanisha? Kanisha, Kanisha. I think I saw. Oh, there she is. Good. Hi. Yay, Kanisha! Hi, Kanisha. Hey, Stacey. So I'm going to give your fun fact. So Kanisha, she said, I was crowned queen twice in my life. Once in high school for football homecoming, and then again in college for Phi Mu Alpha. Symphonia? Yeah. Z at a Morehouse College. Morehouse College. Thank you, girl. And I went to Spelman, so I should have known that. I went to Spelman too, girl. Spelman. <laughs> I watched films, especially black films produced in the 80s and 90s. She says, I legit cry at the end of Vaps every single time. Now, this is what really got my heart because I'm from Memphis, Orange Man. <laughs> she said, I performed Three Six Mafia's Chicken Head at my fifth grade talent show. Oh. Um. Yes, three six mafia is for Memphis. You are you a G, Kanisha? Oh no, with some of my classmates, of course she said she rapped Gangsta Boo's part and killed it. She says, I feel like judgment. Stop it. Laugh out loud. Memphis raised me. I understand, Kanisha. Even outside of the Selman, Memphis still raised us, right? Yes, absolutely. (laughs) Absolutely. So Christopher again. His fun facts were he's over six feet tall, but he doesn't play sports. He's an introvert for an ambivert, and he prefers picnic dates over restaurant dates. Christopher, meet my amazing, 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 did I say that enough? Kanisha, Spellman sister. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Good evening, Kanisha. how are you? Very good, very good. So let me ask you about these earrings. They are standing out and they are bold and pretty and all of that. What's the story behind those and why you Well, I am a statement girl. I love to make statements with what I wear. And I think that this represents a highlight of my day. Um, It brings a golden touch to uh, the frame of my face and lets you know that I'm here. Thank you. It was nice. I like them. Yes, I do, actually. Um, What story about your childhood does your parents or family members usually tell over and over again? My, the most consistent story is the one of my birth. My Nana, my mother's mother tells that story uh, almost at least twice a year on my birthday (laughs) every year. And then, of course, maybe some other time when, when it's relevant. Uh, I was born uh, by C-section. My mother, for some reason, caught a, she had some sort of infection that got in her bloodstream and they literally had to do an emergency surgery because she's very, very high high yellow. But at the time of my birth, she was darker than me. So um, so yeah, my my grandmother tells that story every year and it always reminds me that I'm not here by accident. God wanted me here. um, He tried to fight it, but... You know, they'll try to fight me, but I'm here and trying, you know, trying to make a mark. Like you said, okay, so, yeah. nice. Um, are you thoughtful in your romantic gestures, or do you prefer or rely on your significant other to guide you in that? Hmm. I would say a combination of both. I never want to be presumptuous or assume that I know and I know what's best for my partner and only what only my perspective matters. Uh, like, even in my own kitchen counter, I have a roll sitting in, you know, on, in a vase. Uh, but I, don't, I like doing gestures like that. And if I do it for myself, you know, I'll buy a roll from my kitchen table every, you know, every week or so. Of course, I'll do, you know, I, for example, favorite favorite snacks, um, 
you know, favorite clothing store, you know, maybe every couple of weeks pop up with a new pair of shoes or, uh, you know, a surprise date some, somewhere and I'll ask you silly questions to figure out, you know, what your schedule is to make sure we're clear. And, you know, you may think you know what I'm up to, but you won't find out until I pop it on you. So I'm, I'm, I'm that kind of guy. You know, I, I like to be, um, I like to do what, what they call organized chaos or spontaneity. <laughs> Okay, organized chaos. <laughs> so Christopher, I want you to ask any. I want you to ask some questions now. What questions did you come with? Indeed. Uh, so let's talk um, family and career. Family and career. I am single. I don't have any children. I am an auntie. Um, so those are my babies. I am an arts educator. So my students are also my babies. Um, I love on all of my students and my nieces and nephews. Um, I do want children in the future. I would love a girl and a boy. Um, twins, preferably, because I'd like to get it over with at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am also an actress and professional dancer. Um, I am here in Chicago, Illinois. I perform. She, hold on. She is very, no, she is an amazing, I'm talking about Alvin Ailey. This girl is, no, 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 is an, um, her dancing is beauty in motion. Okay, I'm sorry. I just, you're, you are amazing. Okay. Thank you so much, Stacey. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, I'm here in Chicago and uh, dance with Red Clay Dance Company here. We have more of an African aesthetic to our um, dance. Um, pieces and I also am a working actress here in Chicago, Illinois as well. So that's what I do and I'm hoping to continue to build my career in that regard. Hopefully land me a good um, recurring seasonal role um, so that I can have that stability um, in that area and also continue to teach um, theater and dance arts to my students. Not so much in the institution, um, because I do feel as though um, certain educational environments do not honor um, the technique and the discipline that is needed and necessary for theater arts or the exploration. I think I want to um, create my own thing, you know, build, bridge a gap between the networks that I have that I'm making, currently making, with the students that I work with, which are generally black and brown students, because I want them to see that it's tangible. It's definitely um, accessible for you. So those are my plans. I like that. So quick question. Uh, what do you see yourself in like the next five to 10 years? Where do I see myself as in location? All around, like all, all inclusive. inclusive. Oh, well, I love Chicago. Chicago. I was born here, but I was raised in Memphis, um, and I love I love it here. But I also am very open to the idea of moving abroad. I really um, want to explore that for myself, just because um, I kind of feel a little hopeless in America. I feel like the climate won't necessarily shift in the direction that I need it to in order to raise my children safely. So I think that is something that I'm looking forward to and I'm currently researching um, for myself. So, okay, so now my questions. I get so excited when they're my questions. Okay. I want to ask you, Christopher, do you teach someone how to love you or do you accept the love they give? It, was that question for me? No, for Christopher. Do you teach someone how to love you or do you accept the love they give? I'm learning it's better now to teach them how to love mm -hmm. me um, ex instead of expecting them to give something that they may or may okay. not know how to do. Because we're all, you know, even as African Americans or whatever, we're all in America, but even in America, there's so many different cultural expressions um, and ideologies and familial characteristics and all of that. So uh, I don't take for granted that someone actually knows how to treat me or that I know how to treat them. So it's better that we articulate that um, at the onset and allow that okay. to be the standard instead of assuming. Kanisha, would you rather date someone who was good looking or clever? I would say clever. Okay. Um, I, I say clever because Sometimes the attraction can come through the gestures and things in the ways in which you work 
through the world and move through the world. Um, I'm not a superficial girl, so looks don't mean much. Your looks can be bomb and you could be a terrible person. <laughs> um, but if you're clever, that means you're thought through. Um, and I rather appreciate that over the looks because my attraction will naturally come to you. Got it. Well, thank you so much, Kanisha. Stick around, okay? You've been amazing, my Spellman sister. Absolutely. Yes, <laughs> yes. raise that Spellman high. Okay, so great. All right, so Christopher. You have to pick two women, and then I ask the women if they will accept that virtual date. That virtual date is on your own time with her. You order <clears throat> for her. You order her food. You find out whatever local restaurant is in her city. You order her food. You, you order your food, and you guys have a virtual date on Zoom. So what two young ladies would you like to choose? You had Kanisha, who was last. Augustina, who was first. Jaslyn, who was second. So give me two of those young ladies you'd like to choose. Um, I think I want to go with Jaslyn and... Jaslyn and Augustina. Augustina. Yeah. Okay, so Jaslyn and Augustina, you're still here. Yeah. Let me know in the chat if you will accept this virtual date with Christopher. Jaslyn and Augustina. What are their names? I wonder what are their names. Jaslyn and Augustina, do you accept the virtual date with Christopher? And say your names because I don't know what your um, get vocal names are. You guys are already voting. Wait, don't vote yet. I just want Jaslyn and Augustina. Okay, yes. Oh, she says Tina, yes, smiley face. Okay, so Tina says yes. And Jaslyn, Jaslyn, what is your, hold on, hold on. These comments are so funny. I love so it. So wait, Jaslyn, Jaslyn said, oh, Jaslyn is so amazing. Jaslyn says, actually, I watched it, and Tina is a better date for him, for Christopher. Wow, Jaslyn actually saw the magic with you and Tina. So, okay, so Tina, come back to the room. Tina, come back to the room. Yay! I actually like Tina as well. I'm so excited. <laughs> like, it's like, seriously, I was going to pick <laughs> Tina. So, Jaslyn, you're so right. Like, for real. Tina, 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 Tina. Jas, okay, where is she? 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 It's showing up. I, I don't know. Like, what do you think, Jay? Did you Were you going to choose Tina? After he chose, chose Tina and Jaslyn, I was going, I really wanted Tina. You're on mute. You're on mute. Take it off. Me? Yeah, I was, I was thinking Tina. Were you gonna uh, I think Tina. You were thinking uh, Tina too? Yeah, I'm thinking Tina, you know, it's a better match. I know the energy. I was you know too. I mean? Yeah. The energy yeah. was, it was like watching like a great Denzel and Angela Bassett movie. Yeah. T Tina, Tina talking about, you know what I'm saying? Passport stamps. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tina talking about, you know, living life and let me, let me upgrade you. You know, <laughs> trying to upgrade Marvin Sapp on his travel. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So Tina, Christopher, please make sure you come back. I don't know what happened to her. I think something's going on with her, her Wi-Fi. But please make sure you come back, Christopher, if you can, and let me know how the date goes. I'll make sure you guys connect, okay? All right. Thank you, Christopher. Yay! All right. So next up, we have our last cup. Um, our last. Oh, there Augustina is. I think oh. she's coming back in. Is it working? Don't you love live shows? Can you see me? Don't you I love it. Like, you. That, that, that's why I know, like, now yeah. I know I empathize with Wendy Williams when stuff starts to go wrong and she starts to belch. I'm never going to belch on camera, though. But um, 
There she is. Augustina, Tina? Yes, can you see me? Because I can't see me. I can, I can bear, okay, I can see you now. Yay, there you are, beautiful. I'm so excited for you and Christopher. This is going to be, you guys are perfect. Like, I was wanting, I wanted this to happen. <laughs> But of course, we have to make sure we go through the show. But you, the magic that, right, Jay? Like it was like. Yeah, it was. It was like watching like something disappear, like magic. Yeah, <laughs> this is crazy. So I'm gonna make sure I connect Augustina and Christopher. Christopher, you will initiate the first contact with Augustina. I will make sure you have her information, and then thank you. Please keep me abreast as to what country you guys will be traveling first. Whatever y'all do, don't go to Mexico. So. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. All right. All right. So, yay. All right. So, next up, we have Kayas. Kayas, hold on. I, I need I need to step them down. Everybody talking about they waiting on me. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So, Jay. Stacy, Stacy's already tried. I tried. I just, uh, I, I told Stacey, let's let's just work together. Yes, yes, yes. So Chaos, Chaos, come into the room. We literally have only 20 minutes left before my show can only be two hours. So we have 20 it's minutes. Two hours already? It's it's been, it's 941. I know it's crazy. So we have 20 oh. minutes to get through these last dates. So Chaos, please come to the room. Chaos. Yeah, y'all have your questions ready. Because we're trying to get out of service early tonight. <laughs> Kay is, grab a spot. Okay, there Kay is. And then um, the first young lady I would like um, to come to the room, Shonda. Shonda, are you here? Either Shonda or Daylene. Shonda or Daylene. Yay. Oh my God. She. Oh, I love her fun facts. Because I want one of these right now. <laughs> So Kay, Kayas, I can't see you, Kay. Hey, Shonda. Hey, how are y'all? I'm good. How are you? So I'm, I'm trying good. to get. Let's see, Kay. Oh gosh, what's going on here? Uh, Shonda, I like the earrings, girl. Thank you. So, oh my God, look at your eyes; are gorgeous. Thank you, Kay. Okay. Let's see. I thought that was Elise Neal. <laughs> Who is that? Elise Neal? So She's an actress. I'm going to look her Beautiful. up when we get off. This yeah, that's a, great, that's a great compliment. I'm, I'm going to look her up when I get off. Look her up. And then you're going to be like, man, Jay told me I look Woo! like Elise Neal. So wait, hold on. He's trying. I see him trying. Oh, I do know who Elise Neal is. She's gorgeous. <laughs> now I know who she is. I oh, Kay, what's going on? Kay, listen, baby, y'all got to get rid of this cricket now. <laughs> so we, we... You got 15, 17 minutes. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to put you guys on hold for a second. Hold okay. On. Yes, I am a therapist. But somebody said, uh, and I live in Dallas, so... <laughs> Can you hear me I, now? I didn't want to do this. Yeah. Hey, I think I'm on now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't. I am a marriage and family therapist. Somebody asked what kind of therapist I am. I can see. I can see everyone else. Marriage and family. Oh, there he is. Yeah, Jay can see me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see. He's on. <laughs> He's on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry for the technical difficulties. <laughs> And Stacey, you still on mute. <laughs> you gotta shift to the left a little bit. Okay, what's up, brother? How, much, man? How you doing, man? Good, man. Um, now, where are you at? I'm in Austin, Texas. You're in Austin? Okay, I'm in yes, Dallas. Sir. Cool, nice. I'll go to Dallas. Yeah, yeah, all right. Nice. <laughs> yeah, man. How, how you doing, I, I like to to the Austin Lake out there, man. Yo, Lake Travis, Lake Austin. Yes, sir. Yo, Lake Travis. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to get go to the hill country. Okay, I'm oh shucks. Wait, let's see. <laughs> Stacy's back in. Okay, okay here I go. 
I'm going we to ready? give Shonda's, yes, her fun facts are, this is what, this is amazing, Shonda. You love tacos? <laughs> I love tacos. I do. She says she Mexican tacos art. every day. Me too. I love tacos. <laughs> she says, visiting the Red Sea is on her bucket list and family is everything. All right? Kaya says, he has 10 brothers and sisters. Wow. My first yeah. name is Kaya. And my 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 middle name is Ligarius. Comes from the character Caius Ligarius in the play Julius Caesar, and he loves traveling and trying out new restaurants. So Shonda meets Caius. Caius meets Shonda. So you guys hey, have guys. three minutes. Sorry about that. Hey Shonda, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing. Well. Hey, I didn't know we were gonna have an audience. So sorry about everything. It's okay. I can't, <laughs> I can't even see you. I can just like see half of your face. Oh, you can barely see my face? What about now? No, you got to slide the other way. What about now? Perfect. <laughs> All right. So how was your day today? It was a good day. It was a good day. Um, <laughs> Ten siblings. I got a lot of people to impress. I'm already nervous. <laughs> hey, but they're all okay. nice. Though. They're nice. They're nice. I'm okay. they won't I, I, I get along <laughs> with everybody, so it's cool. It's, it's. I don't really meet a stranger, so I think we're on, <laughs> we got off to a good start. So where do you grow up and uh, where do you live? Um, I live in Atlanta. Um, oh, nice. Actually, I live in Conyers outside of Atlanta because a lot of times okay. when I tell people I live in Atlanta and I say Conyers, they think it's a whole nother world. So I'm <laughs> about 30 minutes outside of Atlanta. Um, but I grew up in South Carolina. Um, I went to USC, which is in oh, Columbia. Nice. Um, okay, when I finished right. college, when I graduated nursing school, then I moved to Atlanta and started my career. Nice. And what do you do for a career? I'm on the front lines. I am a nurse in the operating oh, wow. room. So oh, wow. um, my days are have been very, very um, entertaining, interesting, <laughs> um, overwhelming, all of that good stuff. But I love what I do. I went nice. into nursing not for the money. My mom was a nurse, so I understand. Oh, good. Okay, <laughs> so you grew up in, in a healthcare. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I love what I do. But nice. tell me a little bit about you. Where are you? So you live in Austin. I live in Austin. My brother Texas. actually was um, stationed in San Antonio at Langley. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So um, I've been to San Antonio. I heard that Austin is definitely um, expanding. It is. Um, never been. Going. Never been. But tell me a little bit about yourself. So yeah, a little bit about myself. I'm from a small town, East Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to school here in Austin at the University of Texas in Austin. And I uh, got went on and got my master's at a different school, my MBA, and I've been working at Dell Technologies um, as a sales manager for over ten years. Oh, awesome, awesome! Oh, yeah. So you you live in Texas, you're still in Texas. Do you do you have any thoughts of moving out of Texas? You're gonna stay there? Possibly, possibly. We'll see what happens. Possibly. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It crossed my so mind. You, several times. What'd you say? It crossed my mind several times. Okay. Okay, I like Texas. Texas is nice. Mm -hmm. Texas is nice. I, so need to get you I did so good. I'm, I did so good. Okay. <laughs> are you more of a spontaneous guy or I'm you both. are I'm more both. of a planner? I'm, I'm both. It both. depends on the situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you are spontaneous. Mm -hmm. okay. I am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me a little bit about uh, sponta a spontaneous date that you would kind of put together like just at the spur of the oh movie. man you know just um first of all i would know what types of things she likes right and That's then important. we'll just hit up those spots just fun, you know spontaneous we'll hit one spot the vibe is good then we'll hit another spot that i think she will like and we'll just go from spot to spot depending on how the day is going so tacos mm -hmm. oh, I love tacos i love tacos <laughs> Hey, I'm in I'm in I'm in Austin, Texas. We're at home with breakfast tacos. They're tacos. I love it. I love it. I'll fly there to see you and just get some tacos and I'm good. Okay, okay. Any right. do you have children? No children. Okay, okay. No children. Mm-hmm. Right. And I'm, I'm and, always uh, curious about that when it comes to um, you know, our, our our little boys, and I say that because you know, with all that's going on with the Black Lives Matter, like oh, I'm yeah. I'm all I'm protective over my black men right now. I've always been. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. Right now, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you. you and guys, what... we're uplifting you. We're standing with you, behind you, for you. you. So, yeah. I so, love my beautiful black queens. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all so much for your support. 
Absolutely. That's why we're here. <laughs> and behind a behind a strong man there's a strong black woman. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But you're you're in Austin. So tell me what you feel about long distance relationships. Um my previous girlfriend, Mike's girlfriend, actually lived in Las Vegas. We dated for two and a half years. Okay. And so I would travel. So what I would do, I'll fly her to Austin and or fly her to wherever other trips we're going to, like Aruba, wherever the case may be. So I'm used to having a long distance relationship. Okay. And you like to travel, which is good. I like to travel, love to travel. So this pandemic has messed up my plans. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. But, you know, that's another thing about just adjusting. And that's one thing that's important to me is being able to adjust mm -hmm. um, to certain circumstances because, you know, it's very, very hard when you're going through something like this and, and just having to be confined to your home. And besides true. work, I have to be confined to my home because I don't have, mm -hmm. I can't, I can't expose patients to, to what I'm, you know, to anything, you know, but they can expose me. But that's that's true. Right there. <laughs> but I'll say that to say that, um, yeah, um, I'm spontaneous, but I'm mm -hmm. also the type of person that can adjust to any situation. Right. Whether it's that's a true. candlelight dinner, or it's a walk right. in the park, or right. if it's, you know, camping, it, it it's oh, yeah. just, you know, I think it's it's important to kind of be, uh, I guess, Jill of all trades, because I just kind of want to, you know, I'm a very, very adventurous person. So that's, that's important good. to me. That's good. And thank you for saving lives. Well, okay. you're welcome. Okay, so I have my two questions. Okay. okay. How do you know, K, K S that you're in love? How do you know you're in love? That's a good that's a good question because I don't think I've ever been, been in love. Wow. Which is why I'm why I'm here. That is that's such deep. a level of vulnerability that I so yeah, that. absolutely. That is man, I drink to that. Like for real. Dang, I'm at the end. Okay. <laughs> we all drink to that. That is such a level. I am so happy with the men and the women that I've chosen for this opportunity. It's a spiritual, I don't want to take because we only have eight minutes to go. Yeah. This yeah, is a yeah. spiritual situation for me. Like you guys are so you perfect. Did amazing all of you are beautiful. You did amazing, Stacey. <laughs> Say, okay. I said you did amazing. You oh, are yeah, you truly gifted. You. you got it on mute. No, he, oh, okay, you. got it. Say that again. <laughs> no, I said you did amazing. You chose. Uh, this is this is really good. I I'm feeling hopeful and inspired myself. And just for, <laughs> hey, man, listen, dude, that vulnerability that you display, man, that's that's big because you know, as men, we don't really do that. And, and especially not Absolutely. from the jump. So great job on that. Yeah. But I love you guys. Yeah. Okay, so That's I amazing. have one for you, KS, before Shonda goes. Name three things a, a woman can do to totally turn you off. Actually, just name one because I'm- Negativity, I'm negativity. What negativity. did you say? Negativity. 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 Mm -hmm. That's huge. Mm -hmm. It is Shonda. Wow, you would you did amazing. You look amazing. I'm so <laughs> thank you. I get I get I just I'm so overwhelmed because you all are seeing women here today represent themselves on such a high level vibration. It just warms my heart and it truly lets me know that God is using me to make sure that Absolutely. that 75% of whatever whatever y'all need, I am so here for you, connecting quality people. Aww. And you all, every one of you tonight, like I literally could start crying right now, but I'm trying to stay <laughs> composed because I know we only have a certain amount of time, but amazing. Thank you so much, Rhonda. Nice Thanks. to meet you, Kaz. Nice to meet you, Shonda. <laughs> and it truly defies, thank you, Shauna. It truly defies even that thing with women saying there aren't any good guys out there because I have located some really amazing guys yeah. who are ready to love. And you t you let the streets tell you that there aren't any good guys when absolutely tonight I defy all of that nonsense because I have shown that there are some great guys. Okay, so next, let's say um ayana ayana can you come next ayana and then after ayana will be daylene ayana can you come up it's yana and it's chaos chaos is his name is this ayana from the tv show no oh, i'm sorry oh. no. i love can you come back next week and be my co-host too i'm doing this again I, I will talk about it i know you're busy okay yana hey yana 
<laughs> do you see me? I'm there. How you uh -huh. doing? <laughs> you I'm see here? her? Because uh, maybe yeah. I'm delayed. I'll see her. You do? Okay, Yana, mm -hmm. how are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> so what you? I'm going to do is I'm going to give. Uh-oh. Stacy went away. Uh-oh. I think somebody stepped on a cricket. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, sorry. So, Yana, how are you, Yana? How you doing, Miss Yana? I'm good. I like the shadiness, too. <laughs> good, good. Now, where are you from? I'm from New Orleans. Okay, baby. How you doing, baby? I'm good. <laughs> baby, I need you to send some of those uh, with the uh, beignets this way, baby. I'm, I'm going to make those one day. <laughs> one day. Okay, you, you, gonna, you, you make beignets. Well, Stacy, we waiting on you. I'm just- I'm here, to, you see me? Listen, y'all go ahead, because I think we got a few more minutes. So, oh, okay, there, there she go. You see me? Okay, okay, okay. So, Yana, I'm going to give your three fun facts. I'm running on time, you guys. We have literally seven minutes. So, right. Yana, her three fun facts, she's an educator. Mm -hmm. She said she was honored as Teacher of the Year in 2015. She's a gourmet cook slash baker. And she was in, isn't this amazing? She was in two movies as an educator. Well, she wasn't as the educator. She does this on the side. She was yeah. in two movies, one as an extra, and the other, she had a small speaking part. And just yeah. to reiterate, Caius, he has 10 brothers and sisters. His favorite yeah. name is Caius, and middle name is Ligarius. Comes from the character Caius, Ligarius, and Julius Caesar. Right. And he loves traveling and trying new restaurants. So, Yana, okay. E.K., K is, K is me, Yana. And I have to say that Yana picked the most amazing way to spend, tr to pay tribute to her, her son graduating from college and was just featured in People Magazine because she did a whole virtual graduation and she yeah. was featured in People Magazine for, for thinking outside of the box for her oh, I think son. It went viral, didn't it? It went it viral. Did. It went viral. Oh, that was you, Yana? Yep, that was wow. oh my God. that was so dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So Yana, K is K is me, Yana. Nice. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Yana. I'm like uh, you guys already. How was your day today, Yana? How was your How was your day today? Today was good. Today was really good. Um, very busy. Very busy. How about you? Good day, busy day. I work. From, I've been working from home since this whole pandemic, so I've been Same. loving it. <laughs> Same teacher, so I've been working from home. But well, I'm not working right now. I'm working out though. Oh, uh, so you're on that summer summer vacation, huh? Yes. That summer break. <laughs> yes. yes. Very. I'm so jealous of you. So jealous of you right now. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, what is your what is your favorite place in the world that you travel to? What that I've traveled to, um, I would say um, uh, Grand Cayman. Oh, nice. Grand Cayman. Loved it. I did nice. some adventurous things on a cruise. Uh, well, on um, on the uh, the excursions, with the, mm -hmm. uh, swim with some stingrays and some uh, turtles. So just doing some fun stuff. Nice, nice. I'm definitely going to check that out. I've never been there yet. <laughs> have you ever cruised before? No, I never have been on a cruise. Uh, you got to do a cruise. Best vacation <laughs> ever. You have to do nothing but wake up. Put on some clothes though, and then uh, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> nice. I'll probably walk around in, in swim trunks all day in a tank top. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, so, what would you say is your love language? I was gonna ask you that. You just beat me to it. Um, okay. Affirmation and quality time are my top two. So, if I could okay. give you two, that would be my top two. What about you? Um, affection and, and time. Time. Okay, so we got the quality time somewhere. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. So I have a question for you. What motivates you? What motivates me is that I'm all by myself. Um, so I don't have anyone to depend on. Okay. So what I do is all for me and then I try to help as many people as I can along the way. That's awesome. So my motivation is me. Okay. Okay, well I'm all Okay, so um I don't know if I caught it before, but um I don't know what you do, um, but what would you do in your free time if you didn't have to work? I'll be trying to figure out ways I can better help uh, people. Okay. So my goal is to um, open up children's hospitals. Wow. That's, that's the end goal. 
And then also my other dream goal is to open up a community center back where I'm from, okay. where we can uh, have doctors come out, do annual uh, physicals, annual checkups, have a financial okay. advisor on site, making sure people get their budgets and the finances is good. Um, and have a physical train, a personal train on the side, make sure people are working out, staying healthy. So that's, those are my ideal goals. And that's, that's what awesome. I want to do. That's awesome. <laughs> What's your idea of a first date, a good, like the perfect first date? Um, just a day where, um, you know, we communicate with each other, good vibes. She gets to know about me and I get to know about her. Just a good time. Smiling, laughing. I'm a very goofy person. So yeah. I tend to, you know, <laughs> very goofy. So I tend to just, you know, laugh all the time, smile all the time, because that's just the person I am. Yeah, same, <laughs> same. I'm pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it could be anywhere, you know, it could be outside at a park, it could be at a restaurant, it's wherever. I'm going to have fun no matter where I'm at. Same. Are you buzzing mm -hmm. it? <laughs> <laughs> um, and what does your ideal relationship look like? What are, what are some deal breakers? What are you what are you looking for? I don't do lies. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. do lies. Um, mm -hmm of any sort um and i mean that's the main thing i just uh i, pre I need transparency i need mm -hmm. transparency and of course we can't talk about religion but god is not religious i'm gonna throw that in there <laughs> gotta have me some jesus <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry okay okay i'm so sorry that was going so well Thank you, Yana. Thank you so much. I want to ask you, you are out at a date. Your date is rude to the waiter, Yana. Does that influence if you go out with him again? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. How you treat people is a barometer for your heart and your soul. And I want to be with someone. I mean, if you're going to treat a stranger like that, then, you know, to me, there's that's not much difference from how you might treat me. Uh, when you don't get your way or when things don't go the way you want them to. So yeah, that's def that's a deal breaker actually. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Yana. Okay. Uh, Thank you so yeah. much. All right. You were amazing. Thank you, Thank All right. you, Thank you, Thank you Yana. You look gorgeous. Congratulations on people. All right. So you guys, I have literally three minutes. We have to make this decision. Chaos, which two young ladies will you choose? And then I have to ask them if they're going to accept you for this opportunity go, to go on a virtual date for you, with you. Which well, two women? So someone had, well, so someone had two, both, both of them. No, you had three. I you only had two. two. Only had two. Had two, remember? Had two. No, Daylin, Shonda, and Ayana. Did I not have Daylin? No. Daylin, yeah. Daylin, are you here? You just had Shonda and uh, Yana. No, Dalen has to go. Oh my God! I don't, oh my God! Jesus! <laughs> no, everyone has three. Okay, she's joining. Hi. I think. Dalen. Okay, let's get the date started. Go right now. Dalen's fun facts are: I visited an active volcano. I really want to run a ten k, and she enjoys concerts. Go. I think he's gone. I don't see him. Oh no, this is not good. There he is. All right, Kay yeah. and Daylin, Daylin meet Kay. Daylin. Hi, Daylin. nice to meet you. I'm doing good. It was really good. It was How really you doing, good. Daylin? How you doing? In the house up here. How was your day today? The north, the northeast, but nice. not too bad. Can't complain. What about you? You guys are reopened down there, right? Nice. I'm doing good, doing wonderful. <laughs> I heard you said, yeah, we opened uh, okay, gotcha. a week before everyone else did. I mean, week after Georgia, week after Georgia. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, so before the pandemic, Black -owned what were some of the fun things you like to do with the friends? Like SoCo, I'm going to Melba's, stuffing like mimosas. I just started going to Al the Alvin Ailey School of Dance and doing some dance classes there. She says she's unable to subscribe with the amount of time. Is what oh, I'm no, reading. she's here. She's here. Oh, she's here? Yeah. I'm here, Jay. Oh, saying something different online. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Go ahead, Jalen. I'm sorry. So, yeah, just <laughs> hanging out and having a good time and, you know, living life. <laughs> Oh, 
Acts of service are big nice. for me. Nice. Um, um, so what is your level? I feel like? like you gotta walk it and talk it. I gotta see it. I gotta see it in action. So that's a big one for me. What about you? Okay. Nice. nice. Um, affection. That's well, my number one. No, go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. My my questions are kind of uh, quirky. Oh, I wanted ahead, to know on, like. Sorry. What's your favorite black barbecue no, sauce? First. I'm like, <laughs> <just> <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite barbecue song? Like, what gets you, like, you got to put the chicken down and start grooving a little bit. Not your corporate barbecue, but like your family barbecue where it gets a little, little ratchet. Ah, oh, I've been to a Jay Z concert. Um, I'll tell you what I'm feeling right now. I'm just feeling a lot of uh, Jay Z right now. So 40, 440. That